hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is nuta the crochet world and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please 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 subscribe to my channel like share and comment on my videos and today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a keychain or a key ring it's a stuffed or padded heart and here it is it looks like this from both the sides and for this particular project i've used my 100 percent cotton yarn and for this one i've used a 4 mm of the hook here it is so let's begin okay so for this one we're gonna start with a magic circle so just have your yarn and have a magic circle so have your yarn around your fingers like this and make an axe here and put your the second strain of yarn at the back here like this now have your hook and insert your hook in this way so it should be above your it should be below your first strain of yarn your hook should be below your first strain of yarn and it should be above your second strain of yarn just like this and now grab your this second strain of yarn through your this first strain of yarn and turn your hook like this and that's it this is your magic circle now here for round number one we're gonna chain up two so it's one and two and now here we're gonna have three treble crochets into our this magic circle so for that yarn over twice insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn now yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and this is your first treble crochet and you're gonna have another two treble crochet here so for that yarn over twice insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops here again yarn over twice insert your hook into this magic circle grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through remaining two loops and here it is we got over this three treble crochet enough we're gonna have another four double crochets into our this magic circle so for that yarn over only once insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops so this is your first double crochet and we're gonna have another three double crochets into our this magic circle so for that it's two three and four here it is now we're gonna have one more treble crochet into over this magic circle so for that yarn over twice insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops here it is now we're gonna have another four double crochets into over this magic circle so for that it's one two three and four here it is and now we're gonna have another three treble crochets into over this magic circle so for that yarn over twice yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops this is your first treble crochet that's gonna be your second treble crochet and that's gonna be your third treble crochet here it is and now we're gonna have chain two one and two and now we will go to this magic circle so go to this magic circle insert your hook into this magic circle and grab a yarn and have a slip stitch here just like this and our round number one is done and here it is this is your heart and it looks like this here now for our round number two we will go to this chain two so remember we have our chain two at the first at the beginning when we were starting up our round number one so this is our chain two space we will go to this chain two space and insert your hook into this chain two space and grab a yarn i'm just gonna tighten up my work here a little bit and here it is you're gonna have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops so this is your first single crochet of your round number 
two so have one single crochet on top of your this chain two here it is and now we will go to this first treble crochet so this is your first treble crochet and here on top of this first treble crochet we're gonna have three double crochets so for that yarn over and insert your hook into your, this treble crochet here grab a yarn yarn over and spool a yarn through two loops yarn over and spool a yarn through two loops and you're gonna have another two double crochets here so that's second and that's third here it is and now we're gonna go to this second treble crochet so this is your first treble crochet you have already worked on it we will go to this second treble crochet here and on top of this our second treble crochet we're gonna have another three double crochet so for that yarn over and insert your hook into this second treble crochet and have your three double crochets here so it's one two and now we will go to this third treble crochet so this one is our third treble crochet from our previous round and here again we're gonna have three double crochets on top of this treble crochet so again have another three double crochets here so it's one two and three and here it is it looks like this and now we are here so we got about this four double crochets here so out of this four double crochets we will take over this first three double crochets now here on top of this three double crochets we're gonna have one double crochet on each stitch so yarn over go to this next stitch have only one double crochet here yarn over go to this next double crochet insert your hook and have your only one double crochet yarn over and go to this third double crochet and have only one double crochet so here it is so first three stitches we have our three double crochets on each stitch and next three stitches we are going to have only one double crochet on our each stitch and here it is and now we are here on over this fourth double crochet now here on top of this fourth double crochet we're going to have two double crochets so for that yarn over and go to this fourth double crochet and have your two double crochets here so that's our one double crochet and our second double crochet and here it is it looks like this and now we are here on our this treble crochet so we got over this treble crochet in the middle now here we are gonna have one extended double crochet now for that extended double crochet yarn over and insert your hook into this treble crochet and grab a yarn you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through one loop only here it is and now you're gonna have three loops on your hook so yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops and this is your extended double crochet and now yarn over twice and we will go again into that treble crochet and we will have one treble crochet here so insert your hook into that same stitch where you have your extended double crochet and grab a yarn and have a treble crochet so for that yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops and now we will have one more extended double crochet on top of this treble crochet so we're gonna have three stitches here one extended double crochet one treble crochet and one more extended double crochet so for that again yarn over only one go to that treble crochet again insert your hook and grab a yarn You're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through one loop only and now you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops and this is your extended double crochet here it is and now we're gonna repeat over this pattern on this next side as well so here we got over this four double crochets so on top of this first double crochet we're gonna have two double crochets so for that it's one and two again we are here on over this three double crochets so here on top of this three double crochets we're gonna have one double crochet on each stitch so here it is it's one two and three here and now we are here so here we got over this three treble crochets and here on top of our each stitch we are gonna have three double crochets so here it is we got over this first treble crochet 
so here we're gonna have three double crochets on top of this stitch so here it is it's one two and three again we are on this second treble crochet and here again we're gonna have three double crochets so yarn over insert your hook and have your this first double crochet your second double crochet and your third double crochet and we are here on our this last treble crochet and here again we're gonna have three double crochets on top of our this last treble crochet so here again have three stitches three double crochets it's one two and three here and now we will be here on our this chain two space and here again we're gonna have one single crochet so here it is insert your hook into this chain two space and grab the yarn and have one single crochet here here it is and now to finish up our this round we will go to this first single crochet so this is our first single crochet go to this first single crochet and insert your hook into this first single crochet and grab the yarn and have one slip stitch here and that's how we're gonna finish our this round round number two and it looks like this and now here we're gonna cut our yarn so just have your scissors and cut your yarn and secure your this last stitch and now put your this ends in your loose ends in and make exactly the same for the second part so here we're gonna need two parts one and this two so have the second part exactly like this and remember not to cut your yarn because we're gonna attach our this two parts together so do not cut your yarn and have exactly the same just have your this last slip stitch and i'm gonna meet you after that so do not cut your yarn and for this one just have your this um ends in just hide them in and i'm gonna meet you after that so here it is i got my this second part one part is done and here it is and now i haven't cut my yarn in here i've just put my this end in so my initial ends i've just put that one in i've just hide that one in and here it is it looks like this and now here we're gonna attach over this two parts together so for that i'm just gonna turn my work to this other my this first part and remember to have your this um this wrong side inside so I'm, we are just going to attach over this work like this here it is i'm just going to leave this one and attach this two parts here now i will be here on this first part this is my second part i haven't cut my yarn in here and we will go to this first here we will go to this first double crochet so insert your hook into this first double crochet remember not on the single crochet i've inserted my hook into this double crochet here so insert your hook into this double crochet and go to the second part and insert your hook into this double crochet so this is your double crochet here it is insert your hook in here just like this and now this loop this one is our working loop just have your loop on here and pull your this loop through both of your the stitches so these are two of our stitches two double crochets this is our working loop so just grab your loop and pull it through both the stitches and tighten up your work here it is and now chain one here now we will go to the second stitch so this is our second stitch insert your hook into the second stitch go at the back and insert your hook into the second stitch this is your second stitch and here again grab your yarn and now this time we are going to grab our yarn and we will have a slip stitch so pull your yarn through all of your this loops here it is and have chain one again we will go to this next stitch insert your hook into this next stitch on both the sides here it is now yarn over and grab your yarn and pull your yarn through all of your this loops and chain one again Go to this next stitch insert your hook into this next stitch go to this next stitch on your the second side as well now like this and yarn over and grab your yarn through all of your loops have one slip stitch and chain one now keep on having one slip stitch and one chain one one slip stitch and chain one all the way until here somewhere here because we're gonna fill over this heart with our soft soft toy feeling so we're gonna stuff this one so just leave a little space in here so we're going to leave a little space in here and i'm going to have my the stitches and i'm going to meet you 
here so keep on having one slip stitch and one chain one keep on attaching your these two parts together until here and i'm going to meet you here and here it is i'm here and now we're gonna fill over this heart with our this soft toy feeling so just have your this soft toy feeling and fill it up now whenever you're stuffing any of your this project just keep in mind that your this project is not too tight with the stuffing or it should not be uh, too loose as well so just have a moderate level of this stuffing it is it's gonna be all right and i'm just gonna have a little bit more just to fill up this gap and i guess it's gonna be all right here now continue attaching your this work and i'm gonna meet you here So here it is i have attached my this two parts together and i have attached my this two parts until my this last stitch here on my this last stitch it's it's here and now we will go to this first stitch this one is our first single crochet remember we skip over this first single crochet here so we're going to insert our hook into our this first single crochet on this side and on the second side as well here it is and grab your yarn and pull your yarn through all of your loops have a slip stitch here and that's how we're gonna finish our work here it is and now we're gonna chain up 20 here so it's one two three four five eight. 18 19 and 20 here it is got my this 20 chains now if you want you can go um furthermore and have a bigger loop i'm just gonna have this 20 chains and i'm gonna insert my hook again into my the same stitch and i will have a slip stitch here so just grab a yarn and pull your yarn through all of your loops and here it is you got your this last slip stitch and your this loop is here and now we're gonna cut our yarn it is and now just insert your this end in so for that have you this needle have you this needle and simply if you want you can have a little knot here just to secure your this yarn here it is and now simply insert your this needle and just hide your this and in here it is just we cut over this end and here it is our heart is ready here it looks like this and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye